Nikki and I'm from Malaysia. I've been studying foundation course and diploma of science with PIDT for a year and a half and now I'm currently a ECU student and studying Bachelor of Science Nursing. It's pretty intense, undeniable that it's pretty intense in PIBT for the 8 months course but in the end, got mental coping skills and everything to get you prepared for ECU what you can face challenge especially um, the science class, although it's hardcore but you get a um, well strong base of science based knowledge so most PIBT students do well in ECU. Compared to PIBT and ECU, ECU have further more students, so normally we get about approximately 200 students in a lecture hall, but PIBT is more concentrated, you get about 30, or minimum, uh, I tried before, 8 students in the class. Yeah, it was really good, everyone, we get to know each other really, really well, we get along with everyone, but in ECU, we hardly, we could hardly do that, so compared to ECU and PIBT. PIBT has far more, more advantages. Yeah. Uh, the course in ECU, especially in nursing, it's pretty compact and the lectures and tutorials and the clinical placements which you get sent off to different aged care and hospitals, it's intertwined actually. So from most of the stuff that you learn from lecture, you actually have to bring it out to the clinical placements and do it on a daily basis. So yeah, it's a pretty good experience. I love it. After graduate from this year, I'm after to get a permanent residence. Hopefully I'll get one. And I also try to get a job in a hospital as a nurse in Perth. And also after I got enough money, I saved up enough, I'll try to travel around the world and help people. I'm Paresh Rabadia. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I've been here in Perth for around two years now. I came here to study and then look for a part-time job or a full-time job in an IT environment. My passion was studying in IT, learning computer network, mainly Cisco and Microsoft servers. And I started my course with the PIBT over here in last eight months, I think so. The key benefit of PIBT, I saw they've got a wide variety of services, sort of e-labs, the computer labs, and the lecturers they've got, they've got trained, well-staffed lecturers, the non-teaching staff is well-trained. That's what I liked about PIBT. Whenever we wanted some help through the non-teaching staff or the lecturers, we, would, we wished to get help immediately. Well, the lecturers were good at PIBT. The key advantages of that was that they used to usually had 20 students in per class and even the tutorials used to be only 20 students per class. So PIBT had a good redesign of their studies and then the lecturers used to assist all students, not like it's like only a few people are assisted, but the lecturer used to assist all the students and I was given all that support that I required from PIBT. Uh, the course was quite interesting. The lecturers that I found were quite energetic to teach that certain topics and then give research work on that. They used to help us on the researching the new technologies that are coming up. The lecturers were up to date technology, so it was quite interesting in learning all those stuff from PIBT lecturers. When I finished my PIBT diploma, I was actually ready for ECU since we were given a lot of uh, studies period in PIBT, the good amount of knowledge that we required to get into ECU. Uh, 
很安静、很美丽的一个城市，然后这个地方很适合学生来学习，呃，然后在佩斯的话也有很多，呃，学生来自不同国家，我、哦、那我们可以就是认识很多不同国家学生来他们的习俗，所以这个就我很喜欢这个城市。我觉得在澳洲的教学制度和中国的教学有很大的区别。然后，就像我们现在上课一般都是十五个学生，然后在中国话这样超过四十个，在澳洲话这样每老师可以照顾到每一个学生。呃，在课后的话，我们也有我们可以呃发 email 给老师，然后去问一些我们就是平时在上课上没有时间问或者不敢问的问题。还有一个在这 PIB 还有一个课后辅导班，也是。可以让我们学生去咨询一下我们现在学的东西或者遗漏的东西。我觉得 PIP 的呃硬件设备还是挺不错的，他们有他们自己的一个图书馆，还有一个电电脑阅览室，然后平时我们都可以去阅览室那边去写作业啊，然后。图书馆的话，我们也可以，我们有个 student 卡、学生卡，可以去借书，就省去很多买书的费用，这样是挺方便的。嗯，我念完 P P I P D 以后，我会去 E C U 技术的大学，然后两年以后大学毕业，我可能会在 p e r s h 找工作。如果这里有好的工作的话，我会选择留在 p e r s h 如果没有的话，我可能回上海生活。The main reason that we organise this、uh, second book sale is to help students to get their textbook cheaper, and of course, the current students they want to sell the books, so we create this event to let them meet each other, and、um, we probably will do this、uh, from now on for all the PIBT students. So that would be quite good for them to look for the books they want to buy. I think the event is really good. It's helpful for the students that need to sell books and students that need to buy. So yeah, I think they should keep on doing it. After I sold the book, I actually met another Nigerian, and we spoke a bit about the amount of Nigerians in Perth and stuff like that.、But、yeah, we had a bit of a conversation outside book sales, so yeah, it was pretty good.、Um, well, the event is quite nice because it's really organised. The lecturers have、uh, have come up with a good list of books we need to buy and all that, and、uh, we have、uh, quite a, f- a good assistant、uh, team. Who are helping us to look for the books and the sellers? So so far, I have two books, and I'm looking for one, and I'm sure I'll have it by the time I leave, because I have a good helping team here at PIBT.